Okay, so you've heard about nonlinear source filter interactions, and you've heard it can give you magical powers as a singer, and you're like, tell me more. So I thought the best way to introduce the two types of nonlinear interaction is to start speaking to you with the first type of interaction, and then quickly take that out of my voice so that you could hear what it's like when it's not there. Now I make the type one interaction by squeezing the area that goes from my larynx into my vocal tract. That's the, the epiglottic funnel, according to complete vocal technique. In the paper I linked in the intro to this series, uh, Dr. Ingo Tietze refers to this as the laryngeal vestibule. It's made out of the, the basically the transition between your epiglottis and your larynx. If you think of your, your vocal folds like this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn them to the side, but they, they face this way. And the epiglottis is on top. And by different means, you're able to create narrowing either from side to side or from front to back or, or both probably. And when I have this narrowing, what it does is it causes my whole entire vocal tract to resist more. So energy is trying to come in and there's resistance from the vocal tract itself. It's more inert. It doesn't want to get moving. And as a result, I need to add more energy to the system in order to get it going. But when I do, it makes this positive feedback loop. This is controlling how much air comes out of my, my, my lungs, basically. And it's also boosting my sound. But if I take that out, if I take out the, the squeeze, even if I put a lot more pressure, now I get a lot more sound but it's a, 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 a lot more air and a lot more energy being used to make less sound. So I've, I, I've learned how to basically keep this type one interaction going when I speak, if I want to be heard. Now, if I'm inside and maybe I don't want to be heard so much, it's good to be able to take it out. So whether I increase or decrease my type one interaction is up to me, but I need to know that this type one interaction or twang is what's boosting my sound.